You can see my guitar from that angle, but we'll use the Mark Holcomb uh, rail cam. Okay, so today's video, video is going to be about playing loud and getting used to it. I, I'm out of practice in the sense of playing loud, and you can hear loud, like how I kind of like can't quite overpower. The, or the amps overpowering me in, in a sense that I... So I'm, I'm, I'm missing, I'm missing stuff. Mind you, I, I, my pick's getting kind of worn out, but I won't, I won't use the pick as the excuse. That's pretty close there. Uh, so playing really fast like that shredding, especially through an amp that doesn't compress, and playing really loud is kind of strange. It's like the notes, you got to wrestle with them a bit, where when you're playing at, like that's only on two, on both clean and dirty channel, but it's a Hot Rod Deluxe. So anybody that knows what two is on a Hot Rod Deluxe, uh, you, you, know what I, you, know, you know what I'm talking about, like where it's like, on this, you can put it on five or six, and you still got this nice smooth... But that, it seems like the, the notes are overdriven to a way where you really kind of got to psych yourself out to really get your fingers on those notes. You, you know, my, my, I don't know, my... So if you miss, like... You do that, no problem, but when you're... A lot of times you kind of light, go too light on the note, and it, it, it shows up right away when you don't have get, tons and tons of distortion. It won't make the note, which is telling you is you're not playing, you're not playing your notes clearly. So, so you got to kind of practice getting those notes really in. And then when you speed it up, what happens when you speed up is you tend to focus on this hand and you kind of start playing too light on this hand. And at volume, it really shows that you're missing notes. So doing that at loud volumes, uh, it, it takes a little while to kind of get used to it. Uh, again, especially when you haven't played loud, loud, uncompressed for a while. So, whenever I do get in the bands, I want to be able to pull off really good solos. Of so, without missing those, getting caught up on the strings like that. So without getting caught up on the strings, mind you, I'm just improvising, so I don't really have a solo that's set out where it's like, okay, uh, I got to play exactly this, you know, and something like that. You know, something like that where it's like, okay, it has to be that way. You know, that's the notes. You're not just grabbing random notes. Uh, so whenever you practice 
at volume, uh, which is not always easy to do, especially with something like that. You know, like you got to make sure there's nobody around you to annoy. <laughs> <laughs> which means they got to be quite far away because I think like it doesn't matter where you are in the house you're going to hear that you're going to feel that thing let alone hear it um and this guitar is not really meant for that uh guitars with slightly uh calmer pickups would be better for that but uh I can make it work but it also it's going to make me work whatever so what I find easier to do with uh you know when I got my zoom pedal here uh, the, you know, the distortion on that makes playing a lot easier, but it also kind of masks when you're, uh, you, you get, it's kind of like a cheat code, but it also makes it like there are good clear notes, but when you start speeding it up, if you get a little bit light on your finger, like that there, right? So it sounds like a miss. It sounds like you're missing the note because you're not. And, and you get light. And you don't have to press hard, but like, see? There, like I got I got the, the string against the fret, but. So right there, the, uh, the, my finger is pressing very lightly, right? But I'm getting like a tick instead of a. That's the same note. So when I miss it, you get you you you'll really hear it out there, and uh, you know coming through the speaker there, you really hear what you're missing and what you're not playing cleanly, and a lot of it is just getting used to the the you know the the barbaric sensor sensor overwhelming of just how loud it is right and because it seems so overdriven it's not that you have less sustain it just it seems like because everything is making noise at this point like these pickups are clear enough that i can hear not so much ringing but i can hear resonant strings um you know when, I, when i'm doing that Right now, you can't hear the resonant strings, but when that thing's up there, you hear like you hear that resonating with. So, you got to be able to mute those strings to get those clear notes. And you got to do it while keeping your hands extremely relaxed. And you got to stay in timing and getting your your transitions on your strings smooth so it takes work it takes a lot of work and you hear me playing sloppily you'll see guys play really great stuff first time you have to understand that's not the first take they did they're gonna do a lot of that first yeah you know, missing before you they get that good take. They might do a hundred takes to get that. You know what I mean? Almost, almost. But you get the idea. I, I practice things that are you know harder than my abilities. But I know I live I would never play if I couldn't nail it like the. You know, even that I don't know if I I go. I do what I could get away with. So if I can't get the, I go. Cause that's perfect, right? So whenever you're playing live, you got to work your way to the, the to the complica uh, complicated stuff. No problem doing it on this guitar. A little harder on my seven string. That's from uh, a little lick from uh, Helping Hand Up. And the other lick that's really gets me every time. That one I can do pretty good now. Doing it at volume, it's if you're sloppy at all, you hear. You know, it doesn't sound good. So you got to practice at the volume you're going to be playing at. 
not easy for everybody to do. I get that. Uh, but I'd rather show you kind of the screw ups and how much you got to work at it. And, and then you got to analyze your playing. So my playing is, my technique is pretty good for the most part, but you know, like you focus too much on this hand, this hand will kind of take a, take a nap on you. 